गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड माई ऑडियो एंड वीडियो इज फाइन सो कैन यू जस्ट गिव मी अ क्विक थम्स अप सो दैट वी कैन स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट दी प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर द नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ यू आर एप्रीहेंसिव एंड अ लॉट ऑफ यू आर नॉट इन दी बेस्ट ऑफ योर माइंड बिकॉज ऑफ दी आई एन आई सी टी रिजल्ट सो वी गोना ट्राई टू टॉक अबाउट दैट ऑल्सो so um, just just give me a quick thumbs up whether the audio and video is fine and then uh, we will i will try to give give you my perspective about how you should best utilize the next 3 and a half month in the best possible way yeah good evening everyone all right so first uh, um, let us talk about um, A, a bad day after the exam and the result which is not as per your expectation some of you the result might be as per the expectation and you were not expecting much with the result some of you have prepared pretty well but you could not perform the way that you were looking for you were hoping for a great rank in the iict but you did not you did not get a rank um i am a person who believes that whatever has gone is past so we will have to learn to overcome that we will have to identify that what went wrong even if you uh, are thinking about the best possible way but the net result is that you have to move forward in the life it's it's as simple as that you will have to move forward in the life you cannot change your past but you can definitely change your future always remember this you cannot change your past but you can definitely change your future if you will keep crying on the spilled milk you are not changing your past but you are spoiling your future also so let's stop crying on spilled milk let's identify the strategy that what can i do so that i can do best out of it and i do not think that uh, i i can say that i am one of the perfect example of uh, this uh, when i was preparing for my exam almost 18 to 20 years back uh, i was preparing very very well for the exam um, something happened and because of which i could not perform pretty well in the in the neat in the in the aims exam in our time it was an aims exam and i though i got a rank i got 120 rank in the november aims exam but that was not enough to give me a branch of my choice which i was looking for uh and it was a very very devastating day for me because a lot of my friends uh who were preparing with me and who used to get a lesser rank than me in the gts or in the mock test they scored a better rank than me in the in the aims exam so this was a much much more devastating uh day and it was very very difficult uh, for me so i can completely relate specifically to those students who have prepared pretty well for the inict exam and they thought that it is their last exam but they did not get the result that they were looking for so i can 100% relate to it i cried for two days but then i realized that there is no point crying let us gather all my courage let us identify that what went wrong in the exam let us focus on those areas i identified i i spoke to my friends that how their preparation uh, what were the added points that were there in their preparation so that they could they could get that usp in the exam and not i i realized that if you are not getting a rank in the exam obviously the luck sometime definitely plays a role but more than the luck it is the way that you have prepared for the exam definitely plays a role and most of the time it is secondary that you could not put up the way that the hard work should have been put forward i mean that is how my simple experience has been over a period of time so ignore that you had a bad result let us focus that you have around 108 days let's let's do the reverse countdown let's count let's do the countdown you have 108 days and how you can utilize your 108 days in the best possible way okay so what what will i do now i'm going to spend some time in doing some introspection that what went wrong now there is a student who has given me a very very interesting analogy or or a interesting problem in this and he said ki sir 
द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज दैट आई हैड इन देपर वॉज आई न्यू दी टॉपिक बट आई थिंक माई नॉलेज वॉज नॉट दैट मच डीप विच वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व दी एग्जाम एंड ही गेव मी अ वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑन दी टेलीग्राम ग्रुप एंड आई विल शेयर बिकॉज आई वॉज इन दी मॉर्निंग आई वॉज नॉट देयर एंड दोज आर दार्ट ऑफ दी ऑटो विल है रीड रेड दैट मैसेज एंड दिस मैसेज इज दैट द क्वेश्चन वॉज आज इन दी एग्जाम अबाउट ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर एल्जाइमर्स डिजीज एंड दी थ्री ड्रग्स वर वर गिवन लेट से रिवास्टिकबेन और डोनेपेजेल और गैलेंटामीन बट and i knew that all these three drugs are used for alzheimer disease but which one is given through the subdermal route that i was not aware that i was not aware and probably that was also not given in my notes now rather than going into that 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 this teacher has taught you this in your notes and this teacher has not taught you in your notes i will tell you something more important aspect of it that there could be a chance that i will come forward and i say no this teacher has not taught this but this teacher has taught this you will find this in another subject you will definitely find this in another subject so ignore that the point to be noted is that first do that introspection that from whichever place that you were reading what were the things that were there in your notes and that you could not answer that i understood that there probably were few questions that required a more depth knowledge of the subject so rather than thinking on that first think about that that what were the questions that were there in the paper that you could not answer even after reading it the, any student who is able to prioritize on that front i am telling you is going to be a winner in the exam because bachche there is no limit on to the amount of thing that you can put in your plate it's all about whatever that is in your plate how effectively you can utilize that all right so i will always say that first identify that where do you stand right now where do you stand at this stage and you can identify this by practicing gts all right so i have a very very simple suggestion for you now we have exam on 3rd march 2024 i have not prepared anything i will just do an extempore session on the basis of the doubts that you have all right so if i would have been at your place i have got a rank which i am not satisfied all right so what i am going to do now i have an exam on 3rd march 2024 now what should i do student number 1 these students are enrolled with any program anywhere keep following that keep following that particular program please don't even watch this video you are you are following a schedule given by any teacher you are give following a schedule given by any mentor which is helping you so that you can do three revisions before the exam please do not watch this follow that without a confusion because who is giving the schedule does not matter whether you are following the schedule that is the only thing that matters now you say nay sir i have heard from my senior that you give very very good schedule i say no bachche everybody who has an experience is going to give you a decent schedule i am not a magician everybody is going to give you a schedule what matters is whether you are following it completely please do not follow two schedules just one all right now let's say you say ki no sir i have not made a schedule what should i do then ask yourself can you read on your own answer is yes i can i can read on my own all right sorry for this i can read on my own and if you can read on your own then again that's the best thing then we will make a schedule so right now i am making a schedule for the students who are not following any schedule and they want to make their own schedule and imagine that they are starting from day after tomorrow that means i am going to make it from 16th of november 2023 to neat exam and that is how schedule i am going to make and i am going to make a completely extempore schedule that how i do over the period of last 18 years okay i say all right 16th november so 16th november to 30th of november i have got 15 days all right 1st of december to 31st of december i have got 31 days then 1st of january to 31st of january i am going to have 31 days 1st of february to 28 or 29th of february this is a leap year so 29 days and 1st and 2nd march i have two days and 3rd march is my neat pg exam i am exactly making the way that i would have made the schedule for myself all right so now i'm going to say okay 15 30 30 for 60 
29 and that makes 108 days that is 108 days that i have so what i'm gonna do with 108 days i'm gonna say i'm gonna divide them so that i can do three readings all right so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do a random i can say i will give 56 days i can give 54 days also 56 days to first reading 35 days to second reading and 17 days to third reading basically i have broadly divided them and a 30 56 days 35 days and 17 days so 56 days now in a 56 days i have to read 19 subjects what i'm going to do with these 19 subjects i'm going to divide the 19 subjects into ultra long subjects what are the ultra long subjects that i consider i consider medicine surgery and obg as ultra long subject then long subjects what are the long subjects that i'm going to consider anatomy pathology pharmacology psm then medium subjects you know this is long this is ultra long then medium subject what are the medium subject that i'm going to consider i'm going to consider medium subject as physio biochem micro all right peds ENT of the and now these are the six medium subjects and then was short subjects short subject I'm going to consider skin anesthesia radio psyche ortho and FM okay FM so that is how I'm going to divide my 19 subjects so what I'm going to do for a short subject I'm going to give okay I'm going to give one, 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 one day. Okay. For a medium subject, I'm going to give two, 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 two days. For a long subject, I'm going to give three, 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 three days. And for a ultra long subject, I'm going to give five, five, five days. All right. So now if you're going to see this, this will become 15 days. And that is how I am going to make you all can make your own schedules. I'm going to make 15 days, 12 days, 12 days six days all right so now you're gonna have 12 12 14 24 30 45 days i'm still left with around um uh, uh around 11 around around 11 days so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give plus one 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 any key four and plus four so that means this is to cover up if there is any backlog or maybe plus three here half a day and plus one here that is how i'm gonna do so that will complete my 56 days now i have created this and what i'm gonna do is in these 56 days i will cover these 19 subjects all right now how i'm gonna uh, cover them it's not like that the long are done together short are done together no so create a mixture so that your life is not becoming monotonous so take subjects from each each aspects so take one short one long one medium one long and according to that do that now in these things there are priority orders now what is a priority order the first priority order that you have to do the first priority order that you have to put is your notes then previous year topics and third is gt gt every 10th to 15th day and you know, preferably 10th day but if you're writing it on a 15th day then that is also fine please please it's a sincere request do not do not think that you will miss a gt please do not think that you miss a gt it abhi kya hora, what is happening that you did not perform pretty well in the inict and now that is that is demotivating you you know because you did not perform pretty well but please remember the more number of tests you're gonna write the way what is called as an um, uh, mcq solving skill now this mcq solving skill is gonna become far far better if you're gonna solve more and more mcqs please remember if you want to crack any exam you need what is called as knowledge enhancement but you also need a skill to solve that and that is what is called as a knowledge testing the more number of test you are gonna do the the skill of acquiring and solving an mcq will be sorted i was talking to um, arush and arush has said a very very i mean i always say this statement in my classes also that even the person who has got rank one 
he also is not always very very sure about every answer he said ki sir for lot of question for almost 50% of the student even i was not very very sure so i think that it was my luck that has favored me and it it is it is, it is an intelligent guesses that i have done in the exam so it is not intelligent guesses i mean i am telling you it is because you have written you have given so many test then it becomes much easier for you to identify what are the areas that the examiner is focusing upon all right but now what is the biggest challenge that lot of people faces a very very big challenge that a lot of people faces a lot of people faces is that they think that um, uh, they will not be able to study if they will make their own schedule they need a guided study if you need a guided study then obviously you have to take help of the institutes anybody who can study on its own who have already prepared the notes is the best person but if you need a help then we have guided courses available for you we have guided courses available for you we have uh, a signature product which is fast track tnd available for you we have mega power course available for you but please remember these courses are needed when you feel that you are wasting your time you could not study alone you could not study by giving your schedule if somebody ask me ki sir can you suggest us what is the best way i say bachcha your notes are available with you the previous year questions book is available with you you have an access to the gt make this schedule if you can't make this schedule we have this schedule that we have prepared for our students um, who are a part of dbmci as well as oto which is a structured schedule though this started from 6th of november but you can omit two three subjects and you can use this schedule also but if you are unable to study with this schedule and you need a guided that sir somebody when till the time i do not listen from somebody else i cannot identify till the time somebody puts me that okay this is a test that you have to write it down then we have to go forward then this is a new tnd program which is a fast track tnd program that we have introduced starting from 21st of november and that is going to go up to the 23rd of february but then you have to combine the two revisions here together so that means not just the one but that will give you a structured way so that you can finish each and every subject on time all right so mega power course schedule i am going to share it with you in a minute just give me a sec yeah so just give me a sec yeah so that's a schedule for the mega power course which is available online as well as in some of the uh, offline centers so that's a schedule for the mega mega power course i will be starting this on 20th of november from the radiology and 22nd of november is dermatology followed by physiology ent so there will be 26 days detailed sessions um i have the schedule available till 8th of december but i am going to share the complete schedule with you in a minute just give me a sec all right and please my sincere all the things are aside but the single most important thing that actually helps you in reaching to the rank that you are looking for is writing the exams so guys please write the gts please try to simulate the examination atmosphere do not get a fear of the exam and uh, the 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 biggest challenge that if you have a fear of the exam and a lot of time people are saying ki sir i got panicked with this new pattern of the exam i said this new pattern was not for you it is for everybody it is for everybody even the rank 1 was also panicked with the new pattern he was also cursing the pattern that this is not a correct pattern but that's okay it was for everybody so the more number of test that you have written your apprehension level will become better you know imagine you have gone to a uh, um, uh, um, let let me give a very very simple example of this let's say that you are traveling to an international destination to a foreign country for the first time in your life just think about that how much apprehension you will have oh am i carrying my passport what will happen to the uh, to the uh, uh, immigration whether they will allow me the immigration okay if i will land what will happen where i will take the cab where i where the hotel how i'm going to change the currency etc etc when you are going there for the second time you know the process and it is much easier for you to go and when you are going 
to an international destination tenth time, you don't even pack your bag one day before. It's such a it's such an easy easy task. I am gonna pack it in the evening. So that is what you have to do. You have to you have to put yourself into the scenarios so that nobody uh, has an apprehension about the exam. You know that is my very 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 simple suggestion to everyone. Do not let this feeling that of dejection. Do not rejection. What what you call it? That I did not perform very very well in the NICT exam. It's the end of the world. No, it is not the end of the world. NICT and the NEET paper are completely different ball game together. In the NEET paper, the questions are more predictable. It's not about the guesswork as happened is in NICT. But guesswork does not mean that you can get a rank of top ten or top thirty just by a guesswork. No. You, you need to be uh, worked really very hard to do those guesses also. But the neat paper is more predictable paper. It's more, um, I will say, just a knowledge based paper. And if you're going to focus on your notes, previous year topics and the GTs without getting distractions with this key, that's OK. Whatever that has happened is past. I will make sure that I am doing my best for the next three and a half months. If you want any support from our side, we will be more than happy. As I told you, if you want to completely revise everything, we have mega power courses starting from 20th November on DBMCI Live. If you have already read it well, but you think you have a challenge with the uh, test. So we have this TND program, which is a fast track TND program, which we are starting on 21st of November. If you just want a schedule, you are already a DBMCI student. Uh, contact your center in charge and you can be a part of auto program uh, which is a guided schedule to you without any theory but just a guided schedule on the morning or if you just want a schedule so this is a schedule that probably i can give you if you want more details of that i can share more details on the dbmci premier group do let us know if we can if we can help you out in any form you have your notes available with you. If you can study with the notes, I am telling you that is the best thing. Please, my request to everyone is focus on all these aspects. Okay, a lot of people are asking me, okay, sir, how to incorporate vibe into this. All right, so vibe, you can do vibe. You can omit these four and five days and you can straight away go with the vibe on this particular part. All right, so schedules are always dynamic. You identify that what are the priority order. Vibe is an image based program to reduce your apprehension about everything related to the images. And it has been found to be a very, very useful tool. All right. If you have a fear of the exam, GCLT, which is a computer based simulation exam. What I can tell you as an institute, we will try to help you out in whichever way. But I am not one person who said, no, no, you have to do this. No, it is not. One size does not fit all. Every student is different. You identify that what is the lag point? Where do you lack in your preparation? And we have a solution for that. Every, every problem has a solution, but you have to identify that where was your problem and finding the right solution for that. If you have any challenge, if you want to talk to me, do let me know, write a message on the telegram and I will be more than happy to answer that. Yes. Uh, Barbie, Bache, what is your query? Can you please write it? Not qualified for the need PG and INICT, but read the notes well and add the idea of every question. Yeah. So, uh, Barbie, Bache, I feel that your biggest challenge must have been that you have not practiced questions in a simul simulated environment. Do write the test in an examination atmosphere and then see that if you know the topic, then why you're doing it wrong. Do, do this and I'm very, very sure that you will get an answer to your problem. Can I get into NEET PG in top 1000 scoring 95 plus in the GT? Now, if you ask me, I will say that there is always first time. Usually my experience says that if you are scoring 110 to 120 um, um, uh, correct at this stage, uh, there are high chances that if you will uh, read very, very well, you will be able to get an, an improvement of 30 to 40 extra correct in your preparation. If you are getting 90 correct, you have an and if you read very very well for the next three and a half month you have a chance of getting a 40 plus extra correct in your but there is always a first time i have seen people improving from 90 
to 140, 150, 160. I have seen that. I have seen people scoring 120 and in the final exam also scoring 120. So everybody is different. All that matters is that how focused you are, how determined you are in your preparation, how much your previous rank is affecting you. This happens with everybody because ultimately, na, pehle, we used to say Tendulkar bhi zero pe out hota hai. Jab bolenge, Virat Kohli bhi zero par out ho jata hai. But that does not mean that he cannot make a hundred in the next game. So you are the Virat Kohli and you can definitely make a hundred. But if you will keep on thinking, ki nahi, I have scored zero, that means now I cannot do anything. Now I cannot do anything. To usse to kuch nahi hoga na, bachche. You have to play well in the next game because the next game is going to decide that where you are. And that's, that is how I live my life. Um, there are failures. You should learn from the failures. There is no doubt about it. But the failures are never there to stop you. Failures are there to guide you that if you're going to go in this path, you're going to fail. So you have not supposed to take this path. These are the mistakes that you have done as a result of which you failed the exam. Now, don't do those mistakes in the future so that you are passing, not failing. Now, that's that's a very, very simple principle with which I believe and I have lived my life. And I feel that anybody who is following on this, there are very, very high chances that he will be able to reach close to the success. All right. So these are some of the small points. Please do reach out to us on Telegram group. Please do let us know that if we can help you out in any way, please ignore or stop thinking about the INICT result that has gone. Now let us focus. Let us identify that how I can use these 108 days in the best possible way to make myself proud, to make my teachers proud, to make my parents proud. You have to work so hard that you have never ever worked so hard in your life. And I'm telling you, you will be getting the rank that you're looking for. All right. Chalo, take care. And that is all from my side. Do let me know if I can help you out in any form, in any way. And I will try my level best to provide you that support.